Hey everyone, Vestic here, and today I'm going to show you how to get the World of Final Fantasy Maxima DLC to launch from the Steam Launcher. And I'm going to be doing this on a Windows 10 machine. I've read up and Windows 11 may have different problems, it may not. Hopefully this solution works for you on Windows 11 as well. The problem is you click play with the DLC installed, and it will bring up all the normal launching boxes. You'll get the big black background for the game loading, and it'll just hang and then crash. The game still boots fine if you don't have the DLC installed, but if you have it, you want to play it. So see, there you go, my game just crashed, I didn't do anything. We're going to explore how to fix this really quick. So go to the browse local files. It'll bring up your Steam folder with the launcher files in it. The workaround is to just launch the game from this file here. And if you launch it directly from the folder, it'll work. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. So we launched it from the folder. Everything's just waiting, loading. We have the, the NVIDIA pop up here, the Steam pop up here, and boom. Square Enix, you're in the game, ready to go. Go ahead and jump out of there really quick. So that's your workaround. If you want to make a shortcut to your World of Final Fantasy launcher here on your desktop, then you can click in through that and everything will work fine. If you want it to work through the Steam launcher, you have to go into the application files in their properties, compatibility, and then run them as an admin. So go ahead and apply that to the World of Final Fantasy and the world of final fantasy underscore config file. We'll do that real quick. And because I reset everything to default, I'm going to open up the configuration file here. Yes, I wanted to have admin permissions. And I would rather play this game in full screen instead of windowed. And everything else is fine for me. The 1920 by 1080 resolution, everything else is great. Confirm. Close out of the window. And now that we have the admin permissions for the launcher files set, we'll go ahead and play from Steam again. And we will want to grant it admin privileges, and that'll happen every time. So if you don't like doing that, creating the shortcut on your desktop will definitely be the way to go. And we're in the boot up screen for the game. We get the NVIDIA and the Steam notifications here, and bam, now we're in the game. So there's your fix. I hope it works for you. It worked for me, and it saved me a lot of hassle and stress. And there you have it. The game launches through Steam. So now you can launch it with just like all your other favorite games in your Steam library. You don't have to worry about doing a workaround or anything fancy like that. Thanks for stopping by. If you have questions, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next video.